Hello everyone, welcome back to Maker Mindset. On this third video, we're going to talk a little bit about the 3D printing workflow and we are going to install a slicer software. On this step of the series, we're going to talk about the 3D printing workflow. In other words, you will understand the steps you should take in order to be able to print something on your brand new printer. So the first thing that we need to get is the 3D file that we want to print. And here you would have two main options. The first would be to download them from the internet. I made a small compilation of the most popular websites. They are sorted by their Google ranks. On any of those websites, you can download free 3D models, but some of them also offer some models that you have to pay for. And the second option would be for you to design your own 3D files. Now, here's a short list of applications that you can use to create your own files. The green section shows the free applications and the red section shows the applications that you need to pay for. Each application on this list has its own merits, but I would advise you to concentrate your efforts on the top three applications. Now, let me quickly give a use case scenario for those three applications. Let's say you created a little Raspberry Pi project and you want to design a customized box for it. In this case, Thinkercad would be the perfect tool for you. Now, imagine that you want to design an upgrade to the cooling system on your 3D printer. This kind of project would require greater precision and would involve more complexity. In this case, FreeCAD would be the preferred tool. Now, what if you want to design a dragon with articulated joints and organic curves? Then Blender would be your only alternative out of the free options. You know, you can always pay for an annual license and have access to one of the commercial tools, but I can tell you that you would not be limited on your creativity by sticking with the top three applications on this list. Now, if you are downloading your 3D file from the internet, you may be offered several file formats. The format that you need to download is the STL Stereo Lithography File Format. Likewise, if you created your own 3D file, you should export it into the STL file format. Then you will need a piece of software called a slicer that you will use to convert an STL file format into the G-code file format that your 3D printer understands. Then you need to copy this G-code file into a micro SD card then you need to bring this micro SD card to your 3D printer in order to begin the printing process. So there is just a couple of pieces missing in our puzzle that are preventing us from doing our first test print. We need a 3D object to print and we are going to download a couple of STL files from Thingiverse. And we also need to install a slicer software in our computer. We are going to accomplish both tasks in the second part of this video. On this step, we are going to install a required slicer software called Cura, and we will also download a couple of files that we are going to need in order to do our first test print. So, find a USB SD card reader that came with the printer, make sure that the SD card is there, and plug it into your computer. Now, let's take a look inside of the SD card with File Explorer. This SD card comes with a lot of stuff, but I didn't actually use any of it, like on folder number two called Software and Driver. This folder has a slicer software from Creality, which in fact is nothing more than the Cure slicer that Creality dressed up to make it look like something that they created. But what makes it worse is that it is a hopelessly outdated version of Cure. But we are not going to install this. We are going to download the latest version of Cura straight from the Ultimaker website. So let's open up a web browser and search for Ultimaker Cura Download. The link to the download page should be your top search result. Now agree to the terms and conditions 
and click on the free download for your specific operating system. The download is pretty fast. Here you can simply click on open file from the drop down downloads menu and begin the installation. We can close the web browser for now. Now you click on next, agree, next, next. Now pause here. You should scroll all the way to the bottom of this window and tick that checkbox option for open G-code files with Cure. Now you can click on install. I'm speeding it up here, but the installation is a little slower. Here you confirm the installation of the drivers. This window should pop up twice. And here you should click on the finish button. Now here, Windows Firewall is asking you to confirm that you allow Cure to do live updates. Just click on allow access. Now we are going to the last part of the installation, which is to tell Cure what model of 3D printer we have. Now you agree to the disclaimers, click on next. We don't need to create an account to use this software. We can just skip this. Here we are going to click on the drop down menu option, add a non networked printer. The interface for this drop down is pretty weird. As you scroll down, new content begins to load and everything starts jumping around. The mouse wheel seems to be the only successful strategy to scroll down. So just be patient and do everything slowly. And we are looking here for the Creality 3D option. If you have a printer that is different than mine, then look for your printer model here. When I expand this option, I can find my Creality and the 3 Pro. Now we click on Next, Next, and we are going to skip the tour for now. Finally, we can click on the Finish button, and now we have the latest version of Cura installed. We're going to have to close it for now, and we need to open the web browser again. Now we need to go to this URL that you can find on the description of this video. This is a little test file that you can print as soon as you finish doing bed leveling. What we have here are hearts and a star shape that should be laid out according to the illustration when you are ready to print. So download the two STL files and use your favorite slicer software to generate the G code that is comparable to your printer. But if the build plate on your printer has the same size as the Ender 3, then you will have the convenience of being able to download an already sliced G code file right here. If you downloaded the G code file, you can simply click on the open file link. Kira will start up and load the G code. Here on the bottom right, you will see that Kira recognized my SD card. And now I have this button that when I press, will save the G code into my SD card. If we were going to print just one thing here, then we could simply click on the eject button and then pull out the SD card. But we are not going to do this right now because we still need to download two more files. Now close Cure again. And I'm closing Cure every time because every time I try to open a file with Cure, it creates a new instance of Cure. And I don't want to have a bunch of open windows. Back to the browser, we are going to paste a second URL that you can find in the description. We are downloading now this calibration cube. In this case, we are going to download the STL file. Now, since this is not a G code file, you cannot click on the open file link here. Otherwise, Windows will just open this file with your default 3D viewer. In this case, you need to open the folder where your downloads are. Right click on the STL file and select Open with Ultimaker Cure. You can now close File Explorer. Here is your imported STL file. And now you need to click on the Slice button. 
Now you can save the first G code you've created into the removable drive. We're not going to eject yet and you need to close Cure again. And here we are going to paste the last link that you will need that can be found on the description of this video. We're going to download a version of Benchy, a popular benchmark file for calibrating your printer. And here again, we're going to download an STL file, the first one here. Here again, we need to open the folder where the file was downloaded. Now we need to right click the file and select Open with Ultimaker Cure. You can close File Explorer again. And here is this version of Benchy. I actually chose this version because the original version would just capsize as soon as you put it on water. This version is seaworthy. Let's take a closer look. The red areas indicate that your file may not print well unless you put supports in those areas. But this file was created to expose the limits of our printer. So we are not going to put any support right now. We are just going to click on the slice button. Now you can click on the save to removable disk button. And finally we can click on the eject button. Our SD card is now loaded and ready for our 3D printer. Today is over, but let me tell you what is coming next week. You will learn how to do your first print, which is going to be a very quick one layer test print. Now, go down in the comment section and drop a little note. I love to read the feedbacks your suggestions and some of you made a couple of corrections that were very helpful. If you want to support the channel, now we have a Patreon account. The link is in the description. And don't forget to leave your likes, they are very important for the channel. And I want to ask you a favor, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. This channel cannot be monetized until it reaches 1000 subscribers. Here is the registration button. If you want to watch the rest of this series, you can click on this link here on the top and at the bottom you have a video that the YouTube algorithm thinks will be the best fit for you. So bye bye now.